Now let's uh, talk about the cantilever with the point load at the free end and uh, this is the continuation of the previous video. So in this we will use a method which is there with the help of calculus. So you should remember this that E into I into D2Y by DX square is equal to the bending moment. So we will use this expression to find out the deflection at the free end and in general the deflection at any point in this cantilever right so for that uh, matter of fact we have a cantilever with a free end at o and a point load w at its free end and the total length of the cantilever is l i'm taking a section x at any distance x from the free end o Okay, so your x starts from here at x is equal to 0 and at the fixed end the value of x is equal to L. So if you start with that, the moment, the moment at section x is equal to minus Wx, y minus because this is hogging. So hogging would be a negative moment. So if you put this into this expression, you get, let us come over here, so you get E i into y double dash is equal to minus w x. So let us integrate that uh, once you will get E i into y dash is equal to minus w x square by 2 plus a constant of integration a. So if you look at the diagram, this is slope, y dash is slope. So if you come to this figure, this curved line is the curved or is the uh, you can say shape of the deflected beam. So if you draw a line like this, this is the slope, the tangent to this deflected line. So if you go by this line, the slope at this value that is x is equal to l is 0, there is no slope, the slope becomes 0. So I can say that at x is equal to L, the value of slope is 0. So I will put this condition into this equation, which will give me the value of A as W L square by 2, which will, I will further put it into this constant and which will give me E i y dash is equal to minus w x square upon 2 plus w l square by 2. So this is the equation. So now we will uh, integrate once more because I need to find out the value of y that is the deflection. So when you integrate it once more you get this x cube upon 6 plus w l square x upon 2 plus b. So another constant of integration. Okay. So now we talk about deflection. Uh, if you look at the diagram again, the deflection is 0 at the fixed end. There is no deflection. So I will say at x is equal to l, y is equal to 0. So let us put it over here again. So you will get from here the value of b as minus w l cube upon 3. So this equation will now become e i y is equal to minus x cube upon 3 plus w l square x upon 2 minus w l cube upon 3. So if I have to find out the value of y at any section it will be an expression which is y is equal to w upon e i into you will have minus x cube by 3 plus l square x by 2 minus l cube by 3. You can further manipulate it as you want if you want to take LCM and uh, go with that. Now, what would be the maximum deflection or the deflection at the free end? So y 
at free end where x is equal to 0 so this value when you put x is equal to 0 in this entire equation this and this will become 0 there will be uh, you know omitted so you will have minus w l cube upon 3 e i so that is the expression you need to understand and remember for a deflection at the free end of a cantilever being uh, acted upon by a point load at its free end so this is uh, the expression so i hope you understood this analysis now let's take this similar method forward and uh, analyze the cantilever with a udl